hey, hey, hey. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Sober Gamer back, bringing you the next episode of Watch Dogs Legion. Now, as you can see, we are not in the same spot we were when I logged off last night. Well, there was no option for me to actually save the game, so I couldn't save it where I was at, so I was hoping it would save me at the entrance down there to where I was so I could continue the main story. Obviously, it didn't. <laughs> It, uh, spawned me out here somewhere. I don't know actually where I'm at. But anyway, as you see, his facial hair still looks like complete trash. Yeah, it looks like garbage. I couldn't figure it out. I, I, I don't know how to fix the hair issue with the, some of these characters. Yeah, I did a lot of research on it. Couldn't quite figure it out. I'm running on the graphical settings right now of uh, letting it auto-detect my system. I thought that would fix it. It didn't. I'll probably turn some stuff up as we go because, well, this is smooth as heck and I could probably get a better visual experience if I change it, but we're gonna we're just gonna mess around with it for this for now. And I guess I'm gonna walk back to where <laughs> I was. I don't, I don't know. And I'm not that far from where I was going at, uh, dead sec. I'm curious as to what some of these other things are though, that's for sure. Oh, shop. No, oh, Ian, don't get distracted. We have to do the main stuff before we can get distracted. Let's go. I can't even do anything to these people. I can't hit Q, I can't do nothing. And there's no vehicle around, so it's not like I can drive there. I could probably steal a vehicle. It seems like one of those games where you'd be able to do that. God, I hate that tattoo on the back of his head. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, this run's actually really good. It's really smooth. Got all those drones running around, man. That's really cool. I personally own like 10 drones, so seeing them in the game, it's pretty dope. I love flying drones. It's like the only thing I do outside of video games. <laughs> so where was I at? Was it right here? I think it was right here. Oh, there it is this one. Oh. Shit. No, keep talking. I want to eavesdrop on you. Whatever. All right, then let's uh, check it out. And it wanted me to have all like ray tracing turned off. F that man, I turned it on. Sabine. Right, where's the fucking light switch? I didn't see this right here yesterday though. Oh, come on now. I just saw you pop up. Where you at? Let's go. Bruh. There it is. Bruh. Coming up in today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favorite topic, I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins, it's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was first created by Skylas and our tech hero as part of her techno utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours, and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really Damn, just coming at you, Siri. with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse, they didn't understand anything, and Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. 
Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? Well, it's really the data, isn't it? Ever since Broker hooked up with Bloom, that's when things changed. And really, that's not actually that great. Bloom has data on everybody. They collect information about everything you're doing across the web through your optic headset. Isn't the AI only good because of Bloom surveillance? Well, I suppose so, but I'd prefer not to talk about that side of things. Bagley is so special because it's been trained on this huge cache of information. That's how these AI systems work, or at least used to work. I mean, we don't really know that much about the latest version because there's so much secrecy around the tech, but they're given this huge amount of training data. It's basically a huge database that's used to teach the AI about patterns in behavior. You know, so if you always travel the same way to your house, it can predict when you're going to go and get a self-driving car ready for you before you even ask for it. That's pretty terrifying. In some ways, I don't want this data to, to drive my life. It understands too much at times. Have you heard some of the rumors around the hacked version of Bagley? I've heard mutterings, yes. I've heard it's been used by DedSec. I wouldn't put it past them. It's pretty well known that they're not fans of Bloom. But the idea of a souped-up version of Bagley, given it's already so intelligent, is a bit terrifying. I wonder what they could actually make it do. Interesting. So was Bagley actually our, like, dead sex AI? But it sounds like it's not. It sounds like it's just an everyday AI. Alexa, where are you at? You need to be smart like Bagley. What are you doing? And everyone knows Alexa's better than Siri, so... Yes, shade was thrown. Here we are! Main mission. Finally, you know. What's this? Can I not do anything with this? Oh, what's this? The distractions, folks. They are real with me. <laughs> floppy disk. Oh, Jesus Christ. Floppy disks. My God. New Skies was a game released by the London-based Britplay Software in 1989. A first-person arcade adventure, it tells the story of a soldier taking part in the human invasion of Mars. The player is tasked with crushing a resistance movement by dis by destroying secret alien weaponry caches, propaganda material, and Martian command uh, Martian commanders like like one does. It was a dismal failure. Britplay Software was liquidated, and its CEO began a new career in government intelligence, where he found his ideas were much better received. Well, that's kind of terrifying, but cool. Expand view. I can expand my view on it. Oh, I can't move it around though, can I? No, I can't. Wait, no, yeah, I can. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a floppy disk. We don't see it much anymore in the world, and kids today will never understand trying to save school projects on it, only to learn they pulled it out too fast and didn't save a dang thing. Oh, the old days. This. Cool. Run this way. This is the way I need to go. Cool. Well, it's this. That's pretty much what this game is going to be, y'all. It's just me looking around going, what's this? What's this? What's this? But for real, what's this? Check that out. I'm going to listen to, like, all of these two, by the way. They're very awesome. This is London Calling. You're here with me, Tash, on Buccaneer. Your source for what they don't want you to know. In today's world, we've all had to get used to our every move being tracked by the optic on our temples, by the cameras around us, and with every click we make online. Optic like on our everything temples? Everything we do feeds the big data beast. Why are data giants like Bloom so hungry to get hold of our private information and our metadata? What are they using it for? Will we ever have real private lives again? What is privacy in the digital world? And what happens when capitalism and surveillance become one? As you know, we keep all names confidential on Buccaneer. Speaking from a secure location, here's new technology strategist Charles, who worked all over the world trying to keep democracy strong in the face of the data assault. If you have enough personal data on somebody, you're able to predict what it is that they're going to do. You can tell what they might be passionate about, but mostly you can tell what they fear. And if you can tell what someone fears, then you can manipulate them and you can move them in particular directions. Like, 
Data is collected on citizens in every possible way. Data is collected through surveillance cameras. Data is collected from television sets. Data is collected from voter records. It's collected from how much power do you use in your house and how much water do you use in your house. In pre-crisis Britain, we got really used to all of our services being free. Everything suddenly became free that was digital. But what people forgot is that if you're not paying for it, then you're the product being sold. If technology brings out the worst in capitalism, capitalism brings out the worst in technology. Senior academic Alfie tells us how big business repurposes big data. Historically, what's happened, of course, is that people have traded their, their privacy for their convenience as, as smartphones and other kinds of technology came in and became mass-consumed, mass-used items and technological objects. Gradually, people were so attracted to the, the affordances of these technologies that privacy kind of retreated into the background and into a state we've got now where it's essentially gone. Having this access to this data makes huge tech companies like Bloom so much more powerful than, than they would be otherwise and not just in the obvious ways. Of course, there's a lot of uh, worry and, and fear over what they can do with the data, they can track anyone, find anyone, see what every individual is doing at any point in time. But I think there's even deeper reasons why this data empowers these huge companies to control our society and, and make us do things. So lots of predictive technologies which are implemented by these tech giants. It's not only interested in knowing what we're going to do, but influencing the patterns of our movement. So technologies might suggest routes to use in the city, places to go, restaurants to go to, cafes to go to, music to listen to. And these suggestions are not just predicting what we might like to do, they're actually influencing the way citizens move, think, eat, meet, and, and use their city as a space. So London has become a place where a small group of, of, of surveillance capitalist companies like Bloom can control the movements of individuals and, and orchestrate the way they, they move around their city and the way they essentially live, the things they do, the things they they enjoy and, and the life they lead. So we're really kind of outsourcing our decision-making, I would say, to, to a huge corporate capitalist company. And there's something very, very scary about that indeed. All these technologies can be used to, to not only influence us to act as the perfect consumer, but also to prevent us from doing radical and revolutionary things. So technologies in, 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 in foreign nations have, that have been used are things like um, heat map features which show where populations are gathering. Uh, In-game rewards can be offered to people to take different routes, things like that. Um, traffic data can be manipulated to prevent people gathering and, and protesting, as has happened in, in some of the authoritarian regimes across the world recently. Uh, so what we're looking at is, is not only um, a set of technologies which make people behave as, as ideal consumers, but ones which actually can be put to use to prevent radical and, and disruptive behaviour in the city, which, which limits the, the power of any kind of revolutionary force. So if you thought you had a private life, get used to it. You don't. And we're not going to reclaim our lives without a fight. I'm Tash, and you've been listening to Buccaneer, keeping the resistance informed. Keep listening, keep fighting, and remember, nobody owns you but you. Man, some of that stuff is like, geez, are they talking about modern day for Christ's sake? I wonder what's happening in America in this world. Like, th this is just London, man. Like, what's happening in America? Very curious to know about that. Oh, look at that. There's another one. I may not listen to this entire one. These are actually fairly long. <laughs> this is London Calling. You're listening to Buccaneer, your pirate podcast. Yeah, I said I was going to listen to them all and whatnot, but that's actually... That's really long one. These are all very long. Wait a minute. I think I figured out what's up with the facial hair. Just right here. Being able to be close in on it like this with the wall. Ah. I wonder if it's the ray tracing or the DLSS that's doing it. Making it look all blotchy from far away. Hold on. Options. We're going to give this a shot here. I'm very curious. 
all the way down turn you off and off Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. <laughs> we'll run like this for now, and we'll see how it uh, looks and changes. What's this? Why do you look like that? What do I have to, do? I have to hold it or what? I'm hitting E, bro. Bruh, I'm literally hitting E right now. There it is. Jesus. No dead sec registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Whoa. Rude. Whoa! It's alright. I'm supposed to be here. Uh, authorization code... Sabine sent me? Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Oh, I got anyway, it. Anyway, why don't okay. you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. <laughs> I love Bagley so much, man. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm hearing this music, and I'm really worried that it's going to get copyright claimed, so we'll see. If I have to keep it on or not or turn it off. Oh my god, there's another one of these. Hello and welcome back to the upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does If y'all want me to listen to all of these in their entirety like I did the last few, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll do like an entire episode of just listening to these because they're actually way longer than I was expecting. I'll definitely give the developers credit on that one. What is this? I'm going to walk right past you for a minute because what is this? What we got here? Mask. Okay, cool, cool. It. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no, terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London, <laughs> Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Sounds like a proper conspiracy, Bagley. Who was really behind the bombings then? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Alright, I'll be there in a minute, bro. Coming up today on the upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no. Yeah, those are long. Holy crap. All right, let's go chat with Sabine, huh? Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Fuck, that's mental. You were lucky to get out alive. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red-flagged as a high-priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. <sighs> yeah. About that. I'm guessing that if I join up, that kind of attention extends to me, right? Christ, Sabine, it's fucking risky. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. 
I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? I say, Amir, say what the hell. Let's get to it. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DeadSec. Well, twist, twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> sure. If I get tagged up like positive, I'm now, just, I'm just going to get shot and die. Of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your dead set kit. Okay, cool, cool. Acquire your equipment. Sure thing. Ooh, tech points. That's what those were on the map. Tech points can be found throughout London. Use them to purchase tech upgrades. You got it. Okay. Gadgets and weapons. Purchase tech in the tech menu to obtain and upgrade gadgets, weapons, and hacks. Equipping tech. To change an operative's weapon or gadget, use the edit function in the team menu. Purchase tech in available to all operatives. It looks like I'll get to play more than one person. Cool. Press tab to open up the tech menu to open tech points. Sure. Go check it out. Oh my god. Look at all of this. So obviously it probably wants me to get these two things, but I want to look around first. So I have 10 points, that costs 15, 25. Oh God, I want a drone so bad. Well, these are all the things. Combat drone deactivation, that's dope. All right, so the cute little robot guy. Oh wow, that costs 10 and this costs 10. So I have to choose which one I want. Oh, I can upgrade him too, look at that. AR camouflage to render the wear invisible and break line of sight, that could be useful. A stealth based spider bot capable of performing non-lethal takedowns. You know, I'm gonna get the robot. The little guy's just, just cute as heck. These are all the things. Let's get rid of the uh, annoying dots there. If you know me in games, then you know I got to get rid of it. Oh, that's so much better. There we go. Hey, cool. Short hat cooldown. Yep, yep. Look at that. Look at how intuitive this menu is. This is so easy. Oh god, I love games that do it like that. It's so nice. Skins? Dude, look at that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so going with it. Like, that's absolutely happening. That is ridiculous. Cool. Un uneasy Lies Mask and Lux Vehicle Paint? Oh boy. Any we more? have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. Rude. Rude, Bagley. Don't be so rude. What's this? Data drive. What is this? Ow. That's right. Of course. It's an Ubisoft game, so of course. Micro transactions. You know how they do. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm so sorry if that was loud. I apologize. They sneak up on you. Micro transactions, though. Let's let's take a minute and see what I can buy. Not that I'm going to. I don't normally buy microtransactions for a game the first time I play them, but I am guilty of buying them on like multiple playthroughs. Holy crap, look at that armor. Look at that gun. This is ridiculous. That looks really cool though. I'm not even gonna not even gonna lie to you. But like in Assassin's Creed, 
Odyssey and Origin, I definitely bought some stuff for my second playthrough. Okay, Season Pass, yeah, 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 got you there. That's expected. I'm okay with the Season Pass one. Clothing, though. Okay, how much does it cost for these points here? You know what? I'm not, not going to bore y'all. I'll look at that later. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Bitcoin. <laughs> I know it's not Bitcoin, but I'm going to probably call it that the entire time. I can buy stuff. Mother of God. That's expensive. <laughs> Go back. Very interesting. Okay. I like that one. Classy. And these are expensive. Bro, come on. Why is that so expensive? God, all three of these are ugly as hell. Absolutely not. I like that one. That's nice. Can I get like a Hello Kitty one? Come on. God, these are all... Bro. What is that? Absolutely not. Oh my god. <laughs> Only the one that is extremely ugly that I will never wear. Face wear? Bro. Too real right now, man. Too real. Wear your mask, folks. Oh my god. I'm in a digital game right now. I don't want to have to wear masks. You know what I'm saying? Oh god. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this mask. It is ridiculous. I like that one. That, yep, there it is. Using you. That looks dope. So do I not have anything else? Yeah, alright, let's go buy something then. What do I want to uh, shirt? Sure, whatever, it's fine. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. Sure, I like it. Let's go beat her up. Wow, there's a lot of these. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of The Upload. We're talking about... I like how the store is now, like, I'll be right down. available there. Could use the warm -up. God, I hope none of this music gets me copyright claimed. Let's start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. You mean like that? <laughs> you want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. That's it. Yes. Nice one. Okay, that's easy enough. Guard break. E for the guard break. I got you. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance? Couldn't have done that better myself. Oh, you probably could have. Nice one. Get out of here. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> oh, okay. She came at me really quick. Came at me like a spider monkey. Come on now. I'm gonna guard break that. Oh, okay. 
Hitting you with that uppercut there. I caught on to you. I didn't hit F. Very nice, I like. Right, gear in order. Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some yeah. damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DeadSec now. Me? Little old me? Cool. Let's go see what kind of nonsense I can get into. Start recruitment? So, which evil cabal are we taking on first? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. You mean Albion? Yeah, they definitely got that fascist thing going for them. Convince the people they're some kind of saviors, right? So. We have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Sabine? We're gonna wake up this city. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Okay then. Dead sec chapter started. Squad goals. Mission started. Light a spark. Okay. So immediately when I came up here, I was able to try to recruit this guy. You go look at the mission and read into it a little bit more. So, uh, acquire... Uh, Albion Operations Data, Disrupt Albion Propaganda. Sure thing. DedSec is back and ready to hit the ground running. Sabine thinks the best place to start is by counteracting the Albion presence in Camden Borough. Okay. I can go do that. Oh, there's a lot more of these. Oh my god. Holy crap, there's a lot of these. <laughs> Jesus. They all just kind of popped in. And of course, the store. I just want to have a look at operatives really quickly. See what they're selling you. Being like, yep, the ones you can buy are probably 10 times cooler than any you can recruit in the game. So therefore, hey, buy me, guys. Not doing it. How you doing? City's gone to port, hasn't it? Interested in maybe changing things for the better? Ah, so you're a dead sec. I know the guy who knows a guy. Fine. I need some help taking down some Clan Kelly pricks. Are you interested? Go on. All right. Some gangster fucks have been starting up a protection racket in the neighborhood. I don't avoid petty tyrants or sloppy grifters. So I cooked up a wheat virus that'll drain all their crypto and kick it back into the people it was taken from. I've been calling them Snowball. Problem is, Snowball needs them gangsters private crypto key. Yeah, and you need dead sex help to get the key. You got it. Get me that file and I can get everything back those miserable fucks took. If you help me out with this, I'll do plenty in return. Right. Right. I'll set things in motion. Interesting, okay. By the way, why did you leave the bar to drink that? That doesn't make any sense. But is that a actual mission I can go do now? Recruit Daniel Fulton. 
immigration analyst. Sure. Let's go do this really quick then. Ah, there we go. Because why not, yo? Recruitment mission started. Recruit Daniel Fulton. Network traffic oh. points to the private key bin on some kind of mobile server. Probably a van in one of their hideouts. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That means it's over that direction. How far away is that? Mother of God, that's far away. Huh? I uh, hit F. Let's go. Let me see it. Jesus, man. Okay, then. Do I have my vehicle? And I saw darts in there, so we're going to go have a look at that really quick. Darts tutorial. The goal of darts is to reach a score of zero. Each player starts with a score of 301. The winning throw must bring the score to exactly zero. It must also land on a double or the bullseye. Man, forget that rule. No wonder I don't play darts. Throwing a dart. A dart will land anywhere inside the reticle. We all know that. Bust. You bust when your score is either one or below zero. Okay. Well, you know, let's, let's, just, let's just give it a shot, huh? Give it a shot. Drunk bonus? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, it's one of these things. Gotcha, Sonny. Hey! Last shot must be a double. Sure. Okay. Very close, but it's all right. We're doing all right, Vlad. We're doing all right, folks. I can only imagine doing this uh, drunk. Holy crap. Man. I was doing so good on my first one. It's okay, we're doing alright. This is just practice here. There it is. Last shot must be a double or a triple. There it is, baby. I win. <laughs> Victory! That's right. Bow before me! <laughs> Please, never do that again. Stop it. Stop it. That was terrible. Wait, wasn't there a... Look at these guys. Oh, man, you guys. This is dangerous. I'm gonna be distracted like crazy in this game. Oh, I'm taking this. This is mine now. Brakes, toggle music, change music, exit, and handbrake. As you guys see, I did turn off the music choice for whatever I get into a vehicle or whatnot. I refuse to be copyright struck on this game. Oh boy. Hold on a minute, I want to see something. No, that was actually the wrong button. That was the wrong button too, but I can go to the map from here. So I'm going way down here to try to recruit this guy. Is that the waypoint? There we go. That's what I wanted, was the waypoint. Wow, this is cool. Look at this world, too. This is great. Oh, that's cool. You can do that with the vehicles. Get them to get out of your way. I love that. Lol. That was... That was all me. That was dumb. <laughs> I just straight up ruined this, uh, this motorcycle. It's alright. It's fine. We're almost there.
So I guess it wasn't as far away as I thought. Get out of my way. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I love doing that so much. I'm gonna literally do that to like everything I possibly can. So it's here where I need to steal their 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 stuff. In case you forgot, the private key you're after is on a server in a van. Acknowledged. Dude, look at this place. Dude, I want a moped. Look at that. <laughs> that was great. What are you doing? Get away from me. What is this? Operatives can take parcels from any pickup box and deliver them to the specific... Interesting. Okay. Oh, that's cool. We'll do that later. That's really neat. Dude, what are you doing, bro? Get out of here. That's the vehicle you're looking for there. I just had to figure out how to get in there. Okay, then. Can I, like, jump? Oh my god, I can. Look at that. Got you, homie. Oh, he automatically put his mask on. That's nice. Oh, there's one of those point things up here. Oh my god. The distractions are going to be so real with this game. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. My guy! Still up higher. This way. Well, 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 look at you. I'll take that from you. Can I take that from you? A lot of games don't let you pick up weapons like that. This is definitely one of those. Dang it, man, that sucks. Okay. Wait, what was that? Can I get in here? No. Can't believe he didn't hear that. Uh, Brixton barrier block. Mom, the other night we were both angry and I think we both said things we'd rather not have. But I'm leaving. You did the right thing and look what it's got you. A shitty flat run by gangsters. I want more. I want more. And if it means doing this for the Kellys, then that's just what's got to be. London's gone to shit and it's everyone for themselves. If you don't want my dirty money, that's your choice. But I'm not going to stop getting paid and living the life I want. Caitlin. P.S. Can I come do laundry? Of course you can. You're my baby girl. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. Okay. Download? Out of range. Oh boy. Go! No, go! Here. Find on. them! Yeah, come on! It's clear. I'll go easy. Moving on. This fool is testing my 
up here, Sean. Huh, no one. Something oh, look this way. Shut it down. Oh, God. That's it. You're dead. <laughs> Run. Oh, my God. Well, Clan Kelly have called reinforcements. You're bringing this all on yourself. I, I, yeah, I know I am. So this totally just got blasted out. That was kind of cool. What does this do? That's actually really cool. Uh, get out of that, though. Well, this could have gone a lot better. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! That's why I play with mouse and keyboard right there, baby. Where's my health at? That's really something I want to know. Got him. Pop your head out, bro. Like, didn't they say that we wanted to be quiet while doing this? They did. Uh. All right, got that taken care of. Was that the point that I was going for? No, it wasn't. It's actually higher up. What the heck? It's up there. How do I get up there? Oh. Other way. Even more so, though. How do I put my weapon away? Gadgets are useful both in and out of combat. Press 3 to activate the equipped gadget. Yeah, I know all about that. It's fine. How do I put my gun away? There we go. Search the area. Something I want to know how to do is put the old gun away. There we go. But then he puts his mask away. Like, I don't want him to put his mask away. Must have given us the slip. Oh, come on, man. This is totally embarrassing. People are starting to stare. Just let me in so we can talk. What? I'm sorry. All right? I'm sorry. Interesting. I got to get up there, though. I got to get that. I also want to end the episode, but I'm not going to end it while I'm here. Oh, I got it. I mean, not really. Interesting, okay.
Oh, wait a minute. He got way up there. Really quickly. Really quickly. Uh, controls. I just want to see... Holster weapon, T, okay. But what about... My mask? You know what? Don't care. Oh, well, 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 look at that. Oh, I totally could have done this differently. Oh my god, that's so cool. Uh, takes me back down to that camera. I gotta get like way up there. Ladder, right there. Got it. I got it, folks. I need all the ammo, my guy. Oh good, I definitely needed my ammo, that's for sure. Wait, now it's below me. Bruh. Oh, it's right there. Aha! Chat, it only took me 10 million years to figure out. But I got it. Tech points 10, baby. Let's get out of here. Let's go steal that van, huh? Probably be easier if I go around back this way. Well, no, not right, right there, like... Get down here and go through the... Wait, what, what the heck? Oh, God! Very interesting graphical glitch right there. That was neat. All right. haven't encountered too many glitches in the game yet. Then again, it is only like the very beginning, so they could all come at once real quick. Don't worry about me, folks. I'm one of you. I know I have a stupid tattoo on the back of my head, but I'm one of you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is cool. Jesus 
鉄<笑>Guy, how you doing? I should get this. So I wonder who you can all recruit in this game. What are you gonna come over here and attack me? Broski. Is it because I'm wearing my mask still? Definitely feel like it's because I'm still wearing my mask. Great. I wish there was an option to be able to, like, scan the area so I can see exactly where everyone's at. Can I climb? Can you please climb this? Climb this. What are you doing? Oh my word, bruh! Share the wealth, my guy. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Enter it. Let's go. The demands of being a dead sec operative are all consuming. So, taking app gigs is a good way to make some extra quid that works around your new schedule. Lots of people will pay well to have their sensitive packages handled with care. And some will even pay you for deliveries. Ha ha. Got the key, Bagley. Find me an optimal drop site and tell our hacker to meet me there. Got it. Pushing the location now. Cool. What was that? Oh, there's literally a vehicle in front of me. <laughs> Who's that following me right now? Ah, it's that vehicle. LOL! Alright, let's go. Once I turn this mission in and get it taken care of, that's gonna be the end point of the episode. Oh, God. Starting to feel some frame skippage right there while I'm doing this. Oh, my word. I don't like that. Yeah, this is really far away. It is very easy, however, to drive. I enjoy that, that's for sure. Oh, get out of my way! Get out of my way! <laughs> Move out of my way! Huh? Oh my god, I love doing that. I am never not gonna do that. That is just that's that's glorious. Out of my way. <laughs> Move. <laughs> well, I probably should have done it with that guy. Kind of feel like that would have been a gangster coming after me. The way that vehicle looked. Oh my god, why can't we have this in real life? This is what we need. Oh god! That was clutch right there. So if I'm being chased, I could easily just put one of those up and they'd like it'll effectively stop it. That's nice. Oh god! 
Sorry, folks. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Go back. I went a little too far having fun with my forcing people to get off the road business. Right here, baby. Let's do it. Hey, what gives? You're supposed to be here to drain the account. I'm holed up nearby, downloading the key wirelessly. It wouldn't exactly be wise to be out in the open if Clan Kelly came knocking. Please, that'll never happen. We'll be in and out before... Oh, no. Oh, there my God. Are. Clan Kelly hostiles incoming. Shit. Okay, I'll keep them occupied. You do your download thing. Moving. Dang! You're outmatched. Hey, blood, I'm getting fucked up here. Man, I'm getting fucked up here. Oh my god. Okay, that that was now to set the world right. You're on. That's pretty much the opposite of what our prospect would have wanted. Oh well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I failed my first one. Okay, I understand it more now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, and on that note, everyone. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What are you doing, girl? I don't think so. You're the one that attacked me, chick. Get out of here. Clean yourself up. My word, I'm trying to end the episode and you're just gonna attack me like that. Jeez, rudeness. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Sober Gamer playing through my second episode of Watch Dogs Legion. And I failed my first operative mission, so hey, hey, that's absolutely wonderful. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And if you feel so inclined to, please give me that there subscribe. When we pick up next time, we are going to continue the main story. So uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye, guys.